What's up, everybody? This is ISCD Henson of Insane Sports Comedy, and I am here to wrap up my to wrap up my AFC North predictions. First off, I want to say um, thank you guys for the comments. I've been getting a lot of comments lately. Um, well, not a lot, but just a handful. It's been enough to make a difference so far. I got six comments on my. I got six comments on my um. On my Jets prediction post, two on my Dolphins video, and three comments on my Browns video. But um, my Cleveland Browns season prediction video has already reached 27 views. Nobody's liked it. Nobody's liked it. I don't. Nobody's liked it. Nobody's disliked it. But I've seen a lot. I've seen a. But the comments on the Browns video is in the Jets video is just like. It's just ugly, and I know it's because I um I don't know if I underrated the Browns or the Jets at all, but the way I feel, they're not gonna really do much. But just looking over how the AFC North is gonna be this season, um, there might be some surprises, and I'm not even gonna lie. Based on what people are saying in the comments, I could be wrong about the Cleveland Browns. Maybe, maybe not. There's a there's a possibility I could be wrong about the Cleveland Browns. Pop, possibility. You know, maybe they might be eight and eight or nine and seven. Maybe they might stand a chance against most of the great teams in the league. I don't believe it's gonna I don't believe it's gonna happen. Okay, they have some weapons on offense. Okay, their defense has gotten better. They have a new defensive coordinator. They have three tight ends now. I'm looking at um, the Browns quarterback, Baker Mayfield, and he's just not built to win. Odell Beckham is just not built to win. Um, they're going to be they're gonna be very run heavy. As, as someone, and shout out to the person who made this comment. Um, let me see. What's, what was this person's name? Um, Joshua McCall. Shout out to Joshua McCall. Because um, he, he his comment definitely didn't have no negativity behind it. Uh, you feel me? It's not like he said I was dumb or anything. He just said, you know, the Browns wouldn't lose to the Jets. They beat the Ravens two years in a row in Baltimore. I get that. I totally get that. He said he would go eight and eight or nine and seven. Um, um, I disagree, but I respect. But I respect the. Um, I respect what he told me. He said they have two two of the best halfbacks in the league in Chubb and Hunt. Respectfully, I kind of disagree with that. I think they're I think they're good. Don't get me wrong, but two of the best in the league. I mean, come on. I mean, I don't. I, would any one of them beat Saquon Barkley or Jamal Adams or Dalvin Cook or? I don't know. Uh, but um, three quality tight about three quality tight ends and them being run heavy. Um, that offensive line is gonna have to work a lot. Their offensive line is be is better. But. The Browns playing run heavy would be the only reason they do better than I predicted. I'm just gonna say that now. If they're if the Browns decide to be pass heavy, no more than five wins. No more than five wins. And at the end of the day, this is a league where the quarterback is the most powerful position. So even if you are run run heavy, it's gonna take for the quarterback to commit that to the running game. And also he's gonna have to have some great passing plays himself. Baker Mayfield has some great passing plays himself. But there's going to be certain games where certain defenses are, are going to test the run so much you're going to have to throw the ball. It, that's what happened to the, um, the, to the 49ers against the Chiefs in Super Bowl 54. The 49ers were so run heavy through the entire NFC with three running backs the Chiefs had everything they needed to test that run. And it was and in order for the 49ers to win the game the mission was Jimmy G throw the ball. Jimmy G, Jimmy G make a passing touchdown. In the last two minutes, he could not do that. But um, yeah, James Rennick. Shout out to Joshua McCall and James Rennick. They definitely put up their predictions. They said they both said nine and seven at at best. James Rennick said, "Man, I say nine said They keep that pen clean. <laughs> now let's go to the other videos. Um, there wasn't much to say about my Steelers. About my Steelers prediction. About um my Steelers prediction. I think someone told me to um I think someone told me that instead of doing my videos portrait, I should do it landscape, which is why I have this video's landscape, because it's more to look at. Um 
the Bengals season video. Let's take a look at that. Oh, someone just said someone just said loved it. I don't think I don't think anyone disagrees about what I, what I had to say about the Bengals because it's the Bengals. They just came off one of their worst seasons ever, and they got an overall pick. So basically, Neil Neil Eames. I'm not gonna give him a I'm not gonna give him a shout out. He basically just said my predictions were garbage. I res I mean, I'm glad you made that comment. Feel me? I'm glad you made that comment, but. My predictions, garbage. Uh, not really. Maybe a little. Maybe a little over. Maybe a little too over and under. But garbage. And then he said that under my Ravens post when I predicted the Ravens to be twelve and four. I don't know how that was garbage. Maybe he thought some of the matchups I made didn't make sense. Maybe he didn't think it would make sense that the Ravens would would um sweep the Browns season series. But this is what I have to say about the AFC North. I think the Ravens are going to win this division. The Steelers are going to maintain. The Steelers might maintain the top of the division for a while. The Browns and the Bengals aren't going to put up that much of a fight. Really, really. And how much of a fight could they put up? Now, if the Steelers and the Ravens dumb down and they have like maybe five or six losses going into week 13 or week 14, then maybe I could see the Browns somehow competing with them. Cincinnati, not at all. But based on my predictions, Cleveland and Cincinnati are not going to be a factor in this division. It's going to be about Pittsburgh and Baltimore. I think Baltimore is going to win the division. I think Pittsburgh is going to make a playoff spot, and they're going to be in the. They're going to have a wild card spot, just one game behind. Oh yeah, and speaking of that, um, based on the new CBA, there could only be one team skipping the wild card. Wild card this year. It's not going to be the Ravens. It's not going to be any team I did predictions on. So keep tuning in for for that. For the team you think I'm going to be the for the team you think I'm going to put for first seed of the um AFC AFC. It's no one in the East and it's no one in the North. So could it be could it be the Chiefs? Could it be the Texans? Could it be the Titans? I, hey, tune in and you'll find out. But um yeah, the AFC North has always been. One of the most injury riddled divisions. Um, the weather is crazy. You don't know what you're going to get from Baltimore to Pittsburgh to Ohio. It's predominantly cold later on in the season, but Baltimore weather is. Baltimore weather later on in the year is just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, Baltimore, that's kind of in the same state as D.C. So, Baltimore and D.C. weather. If you're from Baltimore, D.C., you, you know. You know. You know. I can't specify what the weather's going to be like. But. This, this isn't just going to be the Ravens. I mean, the Ravens are going to win the division, but the Steelers are going to prove that they're going to be a um, they're going to be a tough matchup for anyone in their division. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the Steelers win the AFC North this year. Um, I would be totally surprised if the Browns do. I mean, my faith in the Browns just doesn't go that far. But besides what I personally think, um. I don't think they have the offense to go against Pittsburgh and Baltimore's defense. Um, I really don't. And to me, the Browns are just going to have to take a little more time before they even come forth as an elite team. Because they're not an elite team right now. I don't think they're going to be over 500 or at 500. I think it could be just another losing season for the Browns. Because that's all we've been seeing from them, let's be honest. But, um... Yeah, um, thank you guys for whoever commented. Um, shout out to whoever viewed my videos. My views are going, my views are going up, especially on that Browns video, cause Browns video, cause I just had 24 views this morning and it went up to 27. Um, also shout out to all my subscribers. I had 17 subscribers the other day when I made that Black Lives Matter post, and I had someone unsubscribe from that, and now I officially have 16. I don't know what happened with that. Maybe someone just didn't like that video. Or maybe someone just didn't like my channel overall and just decided to subscribe it. But positive and negative, positive and, neg positive and negative, I'm getting, I'm getting clout at the end of the day. It's not a lot of clout, but you know, I'll take what I can, I'll take what I can get. Um, will I do any predictions tonight? Um, I think I might want to knock. Yeah, we can knock out the um the AFC South predictions. Why not? We could just knock out the AFC South predictions and knock out the AFC West predictions later on in the weekend or something. But I'll check you guys in a minute. Check you guys in a minute.